so now let us move to another element uh, or another compound sodium chloride was the simplest of all if you have two type of something like not any let us take first mg cl2 okay so mg will have an electronic configuration of 282 it has 12 electrons 12 protons and then so it has 282 and this mg will want to make it 28 so it wants to donate these two electrons it can also accept six electrons and make it 288 but as we know that accepting six electrons is very difficult rather than donating just two electrons so you have 282 then it will give mg it donates two electrons so there are two negative charges less or in other words there are two positive charges extra so it will become an mg2 plus ion and with that it will give two electrons you know in all these e equations you always have the total charge balanced on both sides like you have the total number of atoms balanced on both sides in a balanced of equation a balanced equation in an equation where you have separation of charges and sort of stuff you have charges balanced on both sides because as atoms cannot ne can neither be created nor be destroyed charges can also be neither be created nor be nor destroyed so here on the left hand side the charge was zero because it's just mg neutral so no charge on the right hand side we had two plus so we had two positive charges and we have two electrons so we have two negative charges so if you sum it it will come zero again so hence the charge on the lss lhs is the charge on the rhs so the equation is balanced You can either do by this way that two electrons will be uh, knocked out so there will be two extra protons so two plus charge or you can say that two electrons will be knocked out so you need two plus charge to balance these two negative charges so you have mg2 plus all this charge balance is not there actually i was just telling to check whether your equation is right according to the charge and now we have we have seen that two electrons are generated but cl has an electronic configuration of 287 so we need only one electron for cl to make it 288 but mg has thrown out two electrons so what will cl do accept just one electron and leave one electron wandering no if two electrons are released then two electrons will have to be accepted by cl but it can accept only one electron so what it will do we'll make double the number of chlorine atoms so if you double the number of chlorine atoms there are two chlorine atoms and now there are two electrons so one electron will go to each chlorine atom like this so this two chlorine atoms plus two electrons will give two chlorine minus you might be wondering that this 2, 2, 2 can cut from both the sides, but it's a way to write because you need actually need two chlorine atoms because two electrons have been released by magnesium. 
and that is why for one magnesium atom you need two chlorine atoms and hence the formula comes out to be mg cl2 because one magnesium atom will require two chlorine atoms or you can say two chlorine atoms will require one magnesium atom so and here also you see the charge is balanced because on the left hand side chlorine has no charge zero charge two electrons will be two negatives on the left hand side and on the right hand side you have two chlorine minus ions so again it is two negative so it's two minus and two minus so both are balanced and now the electron dot structure how will you draw the electron dot structure you have magnesium with two electrons and now because of magnesium chloride you need mgcl2 you need two chlorine atoms so there are two chlorine atoms and they have seven electrons each so magnesium will donate one electron to this chlorine and one electron to this chlorine and then it will become just mg 2 plus and chlorine 2 you can write 2 minus oh remember that this 2 and 2 does not multiply that is a very common mistake it's just two chlorine having two minus charges so the two minus charges have have been just distributed over chlorine that means if this is the case if this a oh, chlorine 2 minus does not exist the so chlorine minus then you have two minus the charges minus 2 but if you have chlorine 2 2 minus that means the charge is not 2 into 2 4 it's just 2 minus because it just means that there are two chlorine atoms and the total charge of these two chlorine atoms is 2 minus okay. so you write it like this and uh, actually you need to re uh, use this with electron dot structure so you can draw something like this 3 4 5 6 7 8 